Peace Check God stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. A windy day yesterday in our tri-state region with power and trees coming down throughout the tri-state region. Today, sunny, lower 60s tonight, lower 40s and clear. Tomorrow we'll have increasing clouds with late showers, lower 60s. Showers and a possible wet snow shower will end the day on Thursday. Windy, the temperature in the 40s. And Friday, partly cloudy with a cold wind, 40 to 45. We'll check the details of our forecast, of course, today with our meteorologist, Pat Pagano. The plan stops for a trailblazing mobile COVID-19 vaccine clinic from the FEMA administration include Winstead, North Canaan, and Waterbury over the next 60 days. Close to 200 shots of single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine were available to be administered yesterday at the first clinic at the Beardsley Zoo in Bridgeport. The deployment of the FEMA mobile unit is part of a wider effort to reduce continuing racial, ethnic, and rural disparities in the state's vaccination program. The state will be sending out 35 mobile vaccination vans next week. As part of that push, FEMA unit is scheduled to make four stops in the 5th Congressional District, the state's 5th largest city of Waterbury, mid-sized cities of New Britain and Meriden, and the northwestern towns of Winstead and North Canaan. In North Canaan, the first public access to the Housatonic River is now on the horizon. A story by Ruth Epstein and the Republican American, the State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, purchased the former Housatonic Temple Association, Mason's property, at 310 Canaan Road, Route 44, with plans to create a boat fishing launch at that site. The parcel contains 1.92 acres. The price was $140,000, with money coming from General Electric Natural Resource Damage Settlement Agreement Fund. DEEP's Fisheries Division facilitated the sale. Selectman Christian Allen and Bill Tingley of Sharon, members of the Housatonic River Commission, were instrumental in solidifying that transfer. Even as COVID numbers around the Northeast continue to get marginally worse, Connecticut's vaccination program is doing well, according to the governor. He reported yesterday that 41% of all adults over the age of 16 in the state have received at least one dose of the vaccine, while 80% of those aged 65 and older, the most vulnerable group for serious problems from COVID, have been vaccinated. Meanwhile, the Monday report on the virus from the weekend shows a fairly high positive test rate and an increase in the number of people hospitalized. The last time the total was that high was back in February on the 22nd. Talking about the wind which we were earlier in Otis, a woman who was trapped in her minivan for nearly an hour after a tree landed on it during the windstorm escaped unscathed. The fire chief said the woman who did not identify was shaken but not injured. She was traveling west on Route 23 at about 9.30 in the morning when a pine snapped and landed on her car after first taking out a utility pole. Live wires at the scene presented a hazard, and her extraction from the minivan was delayed because Eversource crews were so busy around the county that it took them a while to get there. Of course, if you want to travel up Factory Street and see a tree down on a couple of cars, just go by my house. The Dover Town Board will have their regular meeting coming up tomorrow at Duncan Hill Road in Dover Plains, New York. Also coming up tomorrow in Kent, Northwest Hills Recycling Advisory Committee has their meeting at 10 a.m. In Sharon on April 1st, the Park and Recreation Commission has a meeting scheduled for 6.15. Amenia Recreation Commission presents an Easter egg hunt. That'll be Saturday, April 3rd. Free admission, 10 a.m. sharp is when it starts at Beekman Park, Route 44 in Amenia. You must pre-register. AmeniaNY.myrec.com. COVID restrictions apply. Must wear masks and follow social distancing guidelines. It's underwritten by Silo Ridge, Dutchess Country Realty, Revelard Public Relations, Amenia Four Brothers, and Jack's Auto Service. The Millerton Presbyterian Church invites people to their Easter Sunday service on April 4th at 9 a.m. in their sanctuary at 58 Main Street in Millerton. Social distancing and masks will be required. Meanwhile, the North Canaan Congregational Church began in-person worship this past weekend. Now, Easter sunrise services shared with the North Canaan Methodist Church will be at 7 a.m. Easter morning in Hillside Cemetery. The church will continue to broadcast services live on their Facebook page and at North Canaan Congregational. Also, North Canaan Congregational Church has their YouTube channel. 
Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off today at 33,171.37. The Nasdaq at 13,059.65 and the S&P 500 at 3971.09. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.